in life crisis. Lots of rumors about the state mm -hmm. of his marriage to your sister, Sam. And then I wanted to show you this extraordinary moment in New York over the weekend when he arrives at a wait for it tattoo parlor with all of his security <laughs> knowing full well that the paparazzi are there watch this And sure enough, just as he wanted, media hysteria mm -hmm. ensues and Josh Lord from the Tattoo Parlor East Side Inc. starts speaking publicly. Cringe. Wow! Watch this. Two. Well, nothing, of course. Nothing. No, absolutely. So you heard he stopped by here. Oh, yeah. And so he stopped was for free. over an hour. Oh, cool. I mean, what was he like just in the, in the Tattoo Parlor? Okay, I'm listening. You have my attention. The truth is that I couldn't tell you anything about anybody who stopped by without their permission. So I can either confirm or deny anything you would say or ask about anybody who comes in. So officially, and of course we would respect anybody's privacy in the exact same way. So, you know. So that was a f***ing lie. From everything that I've seen, it seems like a phenomenal fact. You, you, you said that uh, that you um, that you've tattooed a lot of celebrities. Lot of celebrities. Can you compare uh, the one what it would be like if mm. he were here? I mean, how does he rank? I mean, do you, I, 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 I appreciate it. Sorry, Star I mean, how, I, I, how's that I absolutely understand uh, the line of question, and I appreciate it. But of course, I could never actually say anything either way. I mean, so what the hell? And um, come on. This is the ultimate midlife crisis. If you want to go and get a tattoo, Harry, you could do it in Montecito and none of us would know about it. So he wants us all to what? know I'm having this reawakening. My marriage is in trouble, so I'm going to... He's serious old, man. <laughs> to go and get a tattoo, please. How embarrassing is that? Somebody on X did a fabulous... Uh... <laughs> They did a meme, and what? So the suggestion was that he, wait for it. He had just come out of the tattoo parlor. This is comedy, by the way. And the tattoo read "Markled" across his chest. <laughs> now this was the funniest meme I had seen. So whoever did it, bravo. Uh, but yeah, it was great. <laughs> do you, do, 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 and, and then there was also this appearance on jimmy fallon the tonight show totally bizarre mm -hmm. because he was swearing like a little kid he almost punched someone yeah. and we're meant to think that this is sort of royally appropriate behavior of course jimmy fallon was delighted because he's got a member of the royal family someone who remains in the line of succession uh pumping up his halloween Are you serious experience watch this interview you got some nightmares going on at Get ready for what, uh, tonight Mares was so fun, we just did it with Prince Harry. Um, it was insane. Uh, the best part, we did it with- Okay, I'm listening, you have my attention. Prince Harry and uh, these, the, the actors dressed as the zombies at the end, both have, with security cameras around them and they have a freak out. And the one zombie goes, oh my gosh. He goes, watch, he goes, that was Prince Harry. And the other zombie's like, and they start doing this. <laughs> it steals the show, it's super fun. He was a great guest totally game for it it's scary but it's fun i mean peter he is whatever you think about harry he is now doing so much damage isn't he to the royal family isn't it time for king charles to just say your titles are gone you've got to be gone from the line of succession because this is embarrassing you better answer the fucking question <laughs> Well, to from your lips to God's ear, <laughs> yes, uh, I, that's the way I see it. Uh, you know, I'm looking at it subjectively, I'm looking at, but at the same time, I'm pretty objective about the things I do. I have to take all kinds of emotional issues 
and present them in objective ways before courts of law, before juries or before judges. Fact. judges. Sometimes there's things that you could barely stop yourself from crying just to be able to deal with it. And so I, I'm looking at it uh, objectively with the, the eyes of a courtroom lawyer. Uh, okay, I'm listening. You have my attention. I just can't understand how it is that the that that uh, that King Charles hasn't done this already, uh, and when he passes, perhaps uh, his uh, his older son will have, okay. have the the, uh, the the intestinal fortitude to do what needs to be done here. But this guy shouldn't be in the line of of, of uh, succession. He, I mean, think about it for a second. He's wait for it. How much can you trust these people? I mean, they, you, 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 as I said, you know when she's lying because her lips are moving. You know, she she lives in in complete fantasy. She'll say anything Fact. to promote herself and say the opposite the next day. She lives this life of of the seat, uh, and she doesn't mind taking other people down with her. So, are you serious? I mean, when you take a look at at, at what these people are. I think it's actually even dangerous. I mean, we know that nobody's safe anymore. We know that Donald Trump isn't safe. We, we've seen that assassination attempt, uh, two attempts. And who knows what else hasn't, hasn't come to the surface. So, you know, the fact of the matter is, we, we, why would the royal family consider itself safe enough? You know, uh, you know somebody, uh, I think... They said one plane crash would take care of the whole thing and make Harry King. Yep. It doesn't make any sense that they which would is the huge concern. In a position. Which is the huge concern. I totally agree. But Sam, the positive thing. Stop it. Let's end on a positive mm -hmm. note. Is that even the woke leftist Hollywood media is working your sister out. <laughs> And so I know it's taken a long time for you to get there, but at least people are now starting to realize that everything you were saying was true. Well, and I, Fact. I think Harry, you know, similarly with Harry, like here's the, here's the thing about the false air that comes with a title. The Jimmy Fallon thing was a prime example. You know, just because someone's a prince, people will get flustered and, you know, so... Okay, I'm listening. You have my attention. Sensationalistic. But then people are looking at those behaviors that contradict what they think is humanitarian, diplomatic, and right, whether you're on the left or the right politically. So it's nice to see that the okay. woke are, quote, waking up, in my opinion. Indeed. Indeed. Well, look, you know, I'm going to keep following your case. Uh, you've got one of the best lawyers in America behind you and Peter Tickton. So Are you serious? I hope that justice and also sanity prevails here. So good luck. You know, you've got my full support and I love having both of you on Outspoken. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate being here. And I know that Samantha does. Uh, that doesn't make sense. So uh, thank you so much for having me. I'm so on. glad you got through the, uh, what was a pretty shocking looking storm in florida over the weekend as well i know storm does down what you've all gone through there so so thank you so much to peter tickton and stop it samantha markle